Yo, what's up, guys? Check it, Iggy. Very, very profis. Um, sitting at university, so you have very, very special experts because nobody else would. Yeah. Let's go. It's gonna be fun. <coughs> All right. We got fire. We got homies. We got Yidin waiting to strike. So, guys, we're in Avodazara, in Albania, under the moonlight. You guys see that? Yes. The Albanian moon? It's beautiful. Yeah, I'll do it. Take, it. Yeah, Take the jig. Thank you. You're welcome, my brother. Hey, what's going on, Javier? Thank you for coming. All right. So, I'll turn this off a little, like, to the side a little bit. We're on Davdalid, Amr Aleph. Uh, let me, if we can get the moonlight, but my lamp. All right. Here's a good place to sit. And we're staggering. So, the last thing we learned, the Mesech is of Odezara, Dav Dalid, Amr Al. Okay. Rav Chinina Bar Papa Rami. He asks a contradiction in Sukkim. Ksiv, it says, Shaddai lo matza nuhu, like Shaddai couldn't find him, Hashem, right? Sagi koach, he gives a lot of koach, a lot of strength. Vixiv, gadol Adonai, berav koach. So we see from these Sukkim that God has a lot of power, right? Vixiv, and it says another verse, it says, your right hand is is um is is girdled with strength. So wait a second. Does he have like a lot of koach? Does he have sagi koach? Does he have rav koach? Or is only his right hand strong? Uh, maybe that's the question of the Gemara. Answer the Gemara lo kasha kan b'shas adin kan b'shas milchama. Ah, so and maybe it's like saying like this in time of din. Okay, so like there's. There's like maybe like one hand of Kayach. And he uses his right hand, because you know right hand is chesed, so that's interesting. But the time of maybe he uses both hands. And like it, we're talking about how like all that all that strength. Let's see if there's a rashi. How's everyone doing? Grateful, bro. Pretty grateful good. Grateful being grateful. Baruch Hashem. Tip top. Tip top. I like to hear it. So Rashi says, Rashi says, Matsanuhu. Oh, so Rashi, this is very interesting. This is why you always have to read the Deber Hamaschil. When we were in Rav Ilsen's, when we were in Rav Ilsen's, and we didn't read the Deber Hamaschil, we didn't read the, what Rashi says. And we were like, okay, fine, Rashi's quoting what it says in the Gemara. So we don't need to read that quote because we just read the Gemara. But often Rashi will have a different girsa, a different um, version. And so it's important to, to be medayak in every word. And so Rashi says, Matzanu, that Sagi Kayach is the Eitz Tadin. It says, Im Yazki Koko Yishai Bukula Kaliya. Ah, so he's saying that, that, that we were right, by the way, we were right in our, in our, uh, in our hypothesis that. In Shas Adin, God uses less power because if if it was justice, and then everyone would just immediately be be uh, be found um, be found guilty, and you know, in Tzadik Ba'ilam right? There's no one who doesn't sin anything. So, so God takes so the Abishter takes it easy. You guys know the Abishter? Oh, it's not. It's not German. Abishter, Ibishter. God, what about the Bishafter? It's like the Creator. No, God. 
I don't know. These are words in Yiddish. I didn't know they translated to German. We're here in in uh, in Albania. Some German speakers, but they did. Okay, so in this is what it means. Is it German or or Austrian, or it's the same thing? Okay, the shafter could mean the guy working on a train. And it could mean God. It means the Creator. <laughs> so we have both both of those both of those shot them. It's cool to see like how Yiddish, you know, they were wondering like how I how I like understood a little bit of what we were able to talk a little bit. Yo, I'm and wondering. And if, I, I'm wondering yeah? if there is a uh, etymological tushtel, like you would oh, say, tushtel. between between the train worker being a conductor, like the conductor of the universe. Well, I think Bishafter means like creator. And like, so like they're creating a train. Ah, oh, Bishafter, yeah. <laughs> okay. Zuck the Hale Gemara Viter. We had a little, a little break to learn a little Yiddish. It's important to know Yiddish, especially the words that are no gaya to learning Gemara, because there are words in Yiddish that were made whilst that were that were conceived whilst people, they were learning. So they're like very special words, words like bavorn. But we'll get to that if we get to that. Rabbi Chama, Rabbi Chanina, Rami. So Rabbi Chama, the son of Rabbi Chanina, uh, asked the contradiction. He says, "Ksiv, it's written Chema Ainli. God says, I have no anger. Vichsev, no came Adainai Ubal Chema. So one pasuk in the Hela Gataira in, in Yeshayahu says, Chema Enli. God says, I have no anger. Okay. And then, um, and then we have Hazak in Nachum. El Kanai no came. Adonai no came. Uval Chema. So it's saying that God gets angry. Right? You guys hear the contradiction? It's like straight up, like, does God get angry or not? So, so, <laughs> low Kajia. It says, hello, hello, what's up? Um, <laughs> it, it should be an interruption mission for the video call. Yeah, what's going on? Because, uh, we would like to talk to you. Jakob would like to talk to, to you. No yeah. No? But you're talking I'm in the to middle your of class. video. Really? Yeah, yeah. Are, yeah say hi. Sorry. Hi. It's okay. We can talk, Hello. we can talk after. Yeah. Okay. Is that cool? So one verse says that God gets angry, and one verse says God doesn't get angry. This is the kind of thing that the Talmud does. It sometimes it, it seems like tube sucking. It seems like two it's okay. Everything's good. Everything's good. Everything's good. So you have two two verses. One says God gets angry, one says God doesn't get angry. So we have to like we have to resolve the contradiction, right? So we say Lokashia, Khan be Israel. This is talking about the Israelites. Khan be Ovde Kochavim. This is talking about the idolaters. And we said this is not just a lot of times people think that like when it says idolaters, they use it interchangeably with like not Jewish. But that's not the case. The case is is like the actual idolaters, the shibud, the pagans, the child rapers and sacrificers and blood drinkers. That's what we're talking about over here. So yeah, God gets angry at them, but never at the Israelites. Rabbi Chinana Bar Papa Amar, Rabbi Chinana Bar Papa says, Chema Enli Shekvar Nishbati. So he says, really, God doesn't have anger. Why? Because I already swore. Me it's nani. Me it's nani. Shalom nishbati. He's like, oh man, like I wish, like at the end of the pasuk. Me it's nani. Me it nani. Shalom nishbati. Eye shamir v'shayis. Slig, you want to look up that puzzle in your Yeah, what the uh, parrot? Chavzai and Dalit. Chavzai and Dalit. 
it says it says chema eli yitne mi yitne. First of all, it's an amazing rhyme. Chema eli mi yitne. Um, and it says shamir vishayis. A shamir is like a worm, and a shayis is like a goat or something. Vamilchama ef aba, right? Like I will like sigh. Atzi tena yachad. Uh, I'm blabbing on the exact translation of this verse. All right, hit us, legs, hit us. There is no anger in me. If one okay, offers we know me, that. If one offers me thorns and thistles, I will march thorns to battle. Thistles. I will march to battle to battle against him and set all of them on fire. Oh, atzi tena yachad. On fire together. Oh, all the thorns and the thistles. Oh, by the way, on the on the before the last thing, before we get to the thistles, we were saying that like the anger. So one answer was that yeah, it says God says it gets angry and God doesn't get angry. One answer is that he gets angry at the idolaters, but not the Israelites. Another answer is that no, God does get angry at the Israelites. They're both talking about Israel. Amar Rabbi Rabbi Acha Bar Amar. Rabbi Akhbar Barzina says, Tarvayu be Israel. Both are going to the Israelites. Valley Gamar, here's what he's saying. Even though really, like, I could get angry, as I'm saying, but I don't. He's like, yeah, I could get angry, which actually makes sense according to what we know from Parsha's Bala that, um, that Bilam knew the moment, right? The Gemara in Brachos, that Bilam, maybe blood, but that Bilam knew the exact moment. That that God got angry every 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 day. So like God does get angry. So he's saying, yeah, but he already made a promise that I'm not going to get angry at the Israelites. So really, it's really God, really God's nature is that He could get angry at us, but He already made a promise. What's He going to do? Shemir Vishayis, Rashi says. So me it's the of the safe of the cross. So that we said this is the continuation of the pasuk that we started darshaning about anger, right? And so now they're continuing darshaning that same pasuk. And it says, me name, so who's gonna give me? Um, Shamir Vishayis, it says, Lashon Eretz, Gezeira Vichorban, Vidugmaso, Haseis Vashever. Oh, saying, what is Shist? So Shamir Vishayis is like, is, is, is destruction. Right, so who will give me? Who will give me destruction? Who will give me shemir v'shayis? Oh, oh, like my anger is going to be destroyed because who will give me to be angry? I can't get angry because I already made that promise. So Rav Chinnon Bar Abba, his shot was like, oh, I'll say a different shot, and it's not just like, oh, we have two shots in there. It's like my shot actually stands, makes sense with the safe of the crow at the end of the pasuk. Okay. Behind the Amar Rabbi Alexandri, very interesting name for a rabbi, Rabbi Alexandri, right? Um, he says, Rabbi Alexandri says, My dear what does it mean when it says, And it was that time I will, I will want to destroy all of the nations. If I catch me, me. Ask the Gemara, Amora de Kasha, who am I going to ask from? Have I cased me, me? Like God has to ask permission? What's going on? Amara Kadosh Baruch Hu, have I cased benigni shelahem? So God just dropped the N word on us. No, the N word, <laughs> but the N word here is nigni. We have to see what exactly a nigni is. If I cage the nigni shall I have? I'm going to ask there's something, right? And right now we're blithing, and it's okay. It's okay to read some Gemara. I don't know what that word is. Okay, let's see a little bit more. Maybe we can figure it out. You know, sometimes people like can't. It's like if they don't know it, like I have to go to art scroll. Oh, come on, it's sloppy, right? If I cage the nigni, I'm going to ask the nigni. <laughs> so nigni, couldn't nigni be their like their players, like Linagain, maybe? Have a case been nigni shalem? So uh, if they have a schus epadem, I will, I will, I will redeem them. 
ואם רב אש מידיהם, right? If not, I'm going to destroy them. So it's not that all the nations are the same. It's totally if they have a schus. And Javier, we learned a few days ago, um, we learned a few days ago, Omora de Kazakh, Patricio could attest that we learned this a few days ago, that an Oved Kochavim, like, like an idolater, Sheosek Bitora, that learns Torah, Harehu Kekohen Gadol. He's like a Kohen Gadol. It's in it's in Avodah Zarah Dav Gimel. Now we're on Dav Dal. It's Gimel Avodah Aleph. Amor de Gemara. So remember an, that? Yeah. An idolater is like a yeah. Kohen Gadol. How is this? Uh, it's wild, but but we learned that a few days ago, and we're still blibing. But I'm interested in hearing Shatim, and if anyone has an under an understanding, why specifically like a Kohen Gadol? But but here it says another it says another thing which is similar. Here it says. Um, it says like the first it said that God's going to destroy is going to destroy is going to ask to destroy all the nations. Like wait a second, God, if you want to destroy the nations, then just destroy the nations. Why you got to ask? He's like, no, I'm going to ask their nigmi. Okay, so nigmi it could be like they're like angels, they're ministers, you know. Um, the nigmi Rashi says the sefer zikaron asayim in the book of memory of their actions. <laughs> I'm going to ask in their book. I'm going to check it out. And it says, Hainu da Amar Rav Avzandri Rashi says, Adela El Kaisha Akadosh Baruch Hu She'ein Akadosh Baruch Hu Babit Turania Im Abrios. Ah, so the Gemara says, when the Gemara over here says that, yeah, it was like what, what it was like what, um, it was like what Rav Alexandri said. It's going way back to like either yesterday or two days ago that we learned that God doesn't come with tricks against his against his creations. He's not trying to stare people. You guys know the word shter? Shter. No, I, I don't know you're with that term. Shter is like to mess up. To stare. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, no, but, but our, I always check, especially when I'm in the when I'm in, when I have the supposed to be in the proximity of Germans. I always ask them, and I'm learning Gemara near them, and like all these yeshivish words are coming out. It's like an excellent opportunity for me to do some etymological digging and learning you know um so anyways so why so god doesn't come to Turunios? how could it say that god's going to come and destroy all the nations right so he says no it's like i'm gonna ask it's good everything's good do you have something to say do you have a comment no you could if you want you're totally with us in this class we're very honored to have you Okay, but if you have any comments, don't feel shy. Um, so it says that the God's going to look in the Sefer Ma'asem. He's going to look and see what see if, what they're up to. So my question over here is, what's the chiddush? Like, yeah, what do we expect? That God's not going to be a fair judge? You know? Uh, yeah, Schlegs? I don't know. It's a good kasha. It's a good kasha. Okay. Yo, dude, thanks for thanks for getting on the on the call and on the steig and saying that's a great kasha. Not it's it's a lot of it's very gishmak to appreciate a kasha. It's a big madrega to appreciate a question. Does that and so like, that means um, question? A kasha is a question. Yes. Okay. Patricio. Can you can you rephrase the kasha? What what's the kasha exactly? So the kasha is is that we're saying that God doesn't because oh, so we're saying that that God doesn't like stare and mess up and trick and punish any of his creations, right? So we asked the question, wait a second, we say that God's gonna ask to kill all of the nations? And we say, no, so the fact that he's gonna ask, we see that it's only gonna be if they're actually, God's gonna look at their actions and see if they have like merit to live or not. And Jumar's like, oh, okay, that makes sense. My question is, why does that make sense? That's like what I would have thought from the beginning. If there was none of that Gemara, that's what I would have thought the situation was. Like, what's the Chiddush? What's the innovation over here? What's this Pasuk, like, coming, what's this pasuk coming off of? And the, what's, the, what's the Gemara teaching me darshaning this Pasuk? Like, it's obvious to me that, that God is, is, is going to be a fair judge, you know? And it's maybe reassuring us. 
maybe the Gemara is reassuring us because because uh, uh, Avodah Zara is a serious business, but still. Uh, mm. uh, Does the Talmud like want to reassure us? Uh, I like it. I like it, Javier. You're saying like this. You're saying, you know, Hanami, that it's obvious for Yidin, it's obvious for Israelites, it's even obvious for Goyim, for, 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 for the nations. But for the idolaters, but here it says which is ostensibly like also the idolaters, also not. Well, it's coming off but, of talking about the. It's coming off of talking about the kasha about Hashem being angry, right? And now it's talking about no, being, no, 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 no. So Rashi no? says that the chiddush is that it's that the, the thing that's stamming off of Rashi says is that um, that. Um, Adela Rashi says, "Vahenu the Rebbe Alexandri, Adela Elkai, the Ena Kadosh Baruch Hu, Ba Beturania Ima Brios." He's not coming to like stare all the nations or, or his creations. It's, he's not. Like, he's not coming, right? It, and the reason that Rashi has to say that is because I w- also would have thought that it's like continuation of what was just before, but. We're saying, like, what's the chiddush? What's the innovation? Javier has a good shot. We'll go with Javier's shot. Um, that, that, um, yeah, but we're dealing with, like, we're talking about, like, Ovdeh Avodah Zara. And you might have thought that, like, you know, like, Ovdeh Avodah Zara, like, maybe, maybe it's a different, maybe it's a different case. And, like, right, we did say that he had anger. So maybe, like, he wouldn't be a fair judge because he was so angry. Comes the Hela Gemara and says, always a fair judge. Ah, that sounds like a good shot. Yeah, that's Javier. That's Javier's shot. I was just talking it out. Nice job. Nice job, Javier. Um, okay. Behind you, the Amar Rava, my Siv. Wait, hold on, hold on. So if they have a schus, I'm gonna I'm gonna redeem them, and if not, I'm gonna destroy them. Behind you, the Amar Rava. And this is like what Rava says. My dixiv, what's shot in the pasuk? Ach lo bai yishalach yad im bepido lahen shua. A pasuk in. A pasuk in. Ach lo bai yishalach yad im bepido. So I don't need to send my hand if <laughs> bepido. It's not talking about like. Jeffrey Epstein, like uh, Jocelyn <laughs> Maxwell, like the entire like media and Hollywood. Right. Um, in the pedo, um, he's not talking about that. The pedo is like a pode to redeem. Pedo shall, shua. Okay, um, Patricio, can you look up Job thirty twenty four for us and give us the English, please? Yeah. Oh. All right. So, in bepido lahem shua. So, what's the Gemara saying? We, we, there's, so there are a few words that, 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 like, that like, I would want to see the English translation or, if, or the Hebrew translation. But for now, you know, like Rashi, see Rashi, but, you know, the Rashi. So, what does it mean, this Pazuk? Bepido lahem shua. What was the um, chapter and verse? Um, 30, 24. Oh, wait, one, one second, Patricia. We're not ready yet. Just have it ready for when I ask, okay? All right, I've got it. So Hashem says to them, to Israel, to the Israelites, when I judge the Israelites, I don't judge them like the idolaters. The Ksiv, Eva, 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 Ashim, Asimena. Because it says, Eva, 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 Asim, Eva, 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 Asimena. Okay, Javier, Yechezkel 21, 32. If you can look it up, if you're like by a computer. If not, like, we can have someone else. But you got this, Javi? Okay, great. Just have it ready. We're not ready yet, but just have it open. Have it ready for when, for when, um, for when we're ready to look at the Gemara. To, right. Yechezkel so what? It, what? Yechezkel. Yechez, Yechezkel. 
21 32 Okay, you got it. Okay, but we're still we're still vibing. Okay, Ella Anina from am kipid shel tarnagolas. I collect from the idolaters like a pid, which by the way goes back to the pedo verse. So that's like the what they're saying, um, right? Like a, I just from the Israelites, maybe I only do like a little bit, like a pid shel tarnagolas. Um. Oh, behind the Amar. Okay, so the Gemara says behind the Amar Rav. Right before we go back to doing Chazah. Yo, Schlegs, why are you learning Gemara? Schlegs might not be here. So we can do, so do oh, a exactly. Oh, good answer. So, <laughs> so, um, so it says when. So now we're seeing we're going we're going we're going through the Gemara again, but we're going to see it with Rashi this time. So when he says Hainu Nami the Amarava, and by the way, Rabosai, I know that you guys. I don't know if you guys have the Gemara in front of you, but Rashi adds the word Nami. So that's just a good deal in Dibur Masco. So she had Kaddish Baruch Hu done Aklam Bediktu that God judges the idolaters with, uh, with you know the idolaters really pedo really like where's the raya, where's the remez sorry this remez is the remez because it says pedo. Um, so where do we know that Kaddish Baruch Hu is very 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 like midactic with uh, with the judgment of the idolaters? So because it says. It says not like they, they, the Israelites not they're not like the idolaters. This is Eva 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 Ashmiena. So that's that's um, huh, that's Javier's puzzle. Javier, can you say what your puzzle? Eva Eva Eva. It means to desire, desire, desire. I want to say. Ava, oh, I got it. Ava, desire, desire. Ava. A ruin, a ruin, a ruin. I will make it. This too will not be until he who has the judgment will come and I will deliver it. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So Eva, Eva, Eva is what? Ava, Ava, Ava. Ava. A ruin, a ruin, a ruin. I will make a it. A ruin, a ruin, a ruin. I see that I will make it, okay? Mm. Yeah, this too will not be until he who has the judgment will come and I will deliver it. Very good. Okay, hold on. So that's Eva. So so Rashi says, Eva, he says, Eva, Eva, Evuta is like, oh, in Ivut, I know what the Lashon is. Okay, we could have seen Rashi, but like, okay, fine, listen. Shagin da. Um, Ivui, in, like, Mi'uvat is like a perversion, right? Ivta le'ava, and a perversion of a perversion, maybe Asimena, or a destruction, right? Um, I will make it. The Chen Targum Yainasan, Chovehon, Chavu, the So it's their, 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 like, sins, right? They sinned with their sins. It's para mean hon, and I will collect from them. So he says, okay, so he says, but that, that's, not, that's not how I'm going to judge the Israelites. Ella, like a pid, right? What does it say? What's the pasuk? Patricio's pasuk. Okay. That, wait, what was Patricio's pasuk? Uh, Job 30, what was it, 24? Yeah. He doesn't want to send his hand. In bepido lehenshua. If I can, rather, if I can save them. Yeah, in English, it says, surely he would not strike at a ruin if in calamity one cried out to him. Okay. So here it's saying that, if Jesus says, low by, it means like, not that he doesn't want to do it. So one verse says he wants to do it. That's why the Israelites, he doesn't want to do it. That's why the Israelites, he doesn't want to do it. Right? He wants him to cry out. But so he, then he says, but, and then it says, kipido. Lehenshua, Patricio, how was the translation? Surely he would not strike at a ruin if in calamity one cried out to him. Hold on, that's not that. Job 30, 24. Yeah. Okay, we're going to. I think that it might be because I, I remember like the New Testament sometimes has like, like even when like it's the old comes. Where are you looking? Are you looking at Safaria? Yeah. Um, okay. Then never mind. Didn't work. So that's the buzz. Uh, we're it's also you know, at um, ten minutes right now. Just like ten minutes left. Okay. Yeah. Amazing. So it says kapid. So as she says, I'm like with them, like a peed of a tarnagal. It says nikor, like 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 like, like the head of the chicken. Um, me'at me'at. Oh. 
um, not the head of the chicken, but the the clock, not the clock. When it's when it's like digging in, clink 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 clink, right? When it's digging in, um, from an akim at at bechein nif from a head at at. So from the Israelites, it takes like a little, a little. The Hester upon him. Hester upon him is like when it looks like God's not in the world. It looks like there is no Abishter or Bishafter. So the the method of of punishment is different. I have a question. How can God judge us in the first place if we're his children? We said before that God couldn't give that God couldn't give testimony on us that we kept the whole Torah a few days ago because because we're, we're his children because it says Beniva Chori Yisrael. And so the God said, okay, fine, Shemayim Va'aretz will give testimony. No, Shemayim Va'aretz, heaven and earth also can give testimony because their whole kiyom, their whole existence is dependent on the fact that the Israelites keep the Torah so they can't give testimony. So the nations themselves will give testimony. Come Nimrod and give testimony that Abraham didn't do idolatry, fine, etc. But how could God judge us if we're his children? Isn't it a little bit nogei Isn't it a little bit like, isn't it a little bit like, uh, you know, like uh, no gay bedaver. I don't know how to translate I, that. Maybe, can I maybe offer zoom you. an answer? Yeah, an shot, answer? please, please, please. So please. we learn from Natan Hanavi, right? When he goes to David Amelech and he gives him the marshal of the poor man and the rich man and the poor man has one sheep. Do you know this analogy? Do you know this marshal that Natan Hanavi gives him? Yeah, yeah. And he takes his only sheep or something. Basically, basically. And David's David, like, oh, it's bad. Yeah, basically, David Amelech ends up like poskining against himself without realizing it. So, really, maybe it's that everybody is judging themselves based on how they judge others and how they judge themselves. I hear, but I, I hear, but like the thing, I don't. I think I think the question still stands. Two stone slugs. I think the question still stands. Like God is judging us. Like it's like it, we just learned about like Yom Hadin, you know. And so I think it's just the kasha. I, I, you're saying that it's not, you're saying, Schlitz is saying like this. It's not that God is judging us. It's that like, we are like doing it. And also we learned like a few days ago that like, that like um, the, uh, we learned like on the first day, right? That like the, or maybe we learned this at a different time, not in this Masech, but that like the items or like everything around the whole world will give testimony out. Sligs is saying that it that we're judging ourselves. I gotta be honest, Pasha Lifa. I'd rather say I don't know than say a chat like that. <laughs> but it's a good, oh, it's a good, it's a good. I too shelled, I too shelled the Navi. It was, it was. I know, I know. She says Sligs shelling to a Navi is very smart, but also like but, isn't um, that the idea of forgiving? I don't know if on she can. Kipper, like or forgiving before Rosh Hashanah, like like we're we're really like yeah. Yeah, you know, Yom, it's, a good, it's a good thing. It's a good thing that you brought Schlegs. She says Schlegs. It's a good thing you brought Yom Kippur because the davening of Yom Kippur and Rosh Hashanah, the co, right, the kol b'nei kol olam ba lefanav b'nei maron. We go past him like sheep, and, and he judges each one of us, right? In kabanim, in kavadim, right? Um, and he's judging us. God is judging us. And so, the, so like I think the Yom Kippur and Rosh Hashanah davenings it makes the question even stronger and more, more spoken out. So it's good. It was a good two shell that you brought it. Thank, thank you, bro. You know, do we have do we have to look into what the at what is din? Like, do we have to look into what that is? That you know, the word that's being used, and like, what does it mean, din? You know, listen. We yes, to really, really say like a full shot, we would have to also explain like what's shot and din, and it could it could it could be like I'm going to explain what this is, and I, in talk today I'm going to explain din. It could be an amazing mimer. But right now, right now we're blibing um, because, but, but, but we're blibing. We hear, we hear a good kasha. We hear a good kasha and we're blibing on it. Um, so, so like, so the judgment from the Israelites is like little by little, you know, um, that's like, that's like uh, pecking in a garbage. Ani mitzarfan v'cheshbon gado. I am going to add them to a great um, cheshbon. 
to a great uh, accounting. Shenemar im bepido lehu shua and shua. If and Patrice, what do we say? The end of that pasuk was the verse. Im bepido. If they if they cry out like thirty twenty four. Could be like when they crawl, cry out, yeah, 3024. Yeah, surely he would not strike at a ruin if in calamity one cried out to him. And that's okay, from so Safari. Maybe it's like calamity. Okay. Um, Amrlahan, so wait, so Dover Akhir, another way to to understand this verse is Afilu Eng Israel Usin Mitzvah Lifanai, Kiim Ma'at Kipi Kitanagolim, Sheminakrim Ba'ajba, Ani Mitzarf and Lakesh Bogado, Shinemar in Bipido. Lanshua. Even if the Israelites don't like do any mitzvahs, just a little bit like uh, like a pecking of a chicken, still I'm going to edit and and combine it with a great amount. Um, three minutes, just to let you know. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Davar Acher b'schar shem shavim lefanai ani Moshia osam. In the in the in the 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 reward that they're crying out before me, I will save them. Behind the Amar Ravi Abba, this is what Rav Abba says. My dechsev, what shot in pasuk? Vanochi epadem, I will save them. Vehima yud dabru alai kazavim, I'm going to save them, and they're speaking about me. Uh, disappointments. Ani amar ti epadem b'mona on be'olam haza. I say I will save them with their money in this world. Kedei sheyizku lo'olam haba. I'll give them money in this world so that they will be able to sit and learn and. And and do mitzvahs and not have to worry about money, and so that they can get to Olam Haba. And they spoke um, disappointments to me. And they spoke disappointments to me, to me, to me. Okay. Behind the Amar of Papa Mishmei, the Rava. This is what Papa the Rava says. This is a this is a wild string. Um. I made my arm strong. They thought bad for me about me. God says, I gave you like you guys like hard times in this world. So you'll be strengthened for the next world. But you thought, but but the Israelites and like the humans were like, yo, we don't like this so much. Like. Like, don't make it so hard. Like, but we like the reason that we suffer in this world is so that we can sh- we can strengthen and grow from it. We should always look at to strengthen and grow, and be strong, and steig, and always climb, and always face like face this world, and you know, and just keep on, keep on, keep on moving. Got to keep moving. There's more music to make. Much love, okay. everybody, from the Moonlight Stag in Albania. Piggity, peace. Let me take my hat off. You guys see the moon? Beautiful. We've got one minute. Beautiful. Left now. We got one minute left. Anyone want to say a stickle? Anyone want to say anything? Some closing words? Yo, yeah, Patrice, so close us out. Oh, yeah. Great. Yo, much love. Thank you. Great as usual, and that moon really is bright. Yeah, well, actually, it's interesting. The Israelites are compared to the moon, and the nations are compared to the sun. And since we're learning, we're learning the Masechta of idolatry. Um, maybe we'll come across that, and we'll think about that idea. Um, we'll see you guys all tomorrow. Piggity peace, Lila Tov. Much love. Bye bye.